what is going on everybody it's me Euro here and what I have here is a MacBook Pro from mid 2007 now this is a pretty interesting story with this MacBook Pro specifically but we'll get into that later this has the infamous GT 8600M graphics card what that means is that these have a very very high tendency to fail once it fails pretty much toast you have to replace the whole logic board back when this was readily being used and not obsolete a lot of these go bad in a matter of a year or two or even just under four years or five years which is insane that's really really bad for reliability standpoint but surprisingly this is still working perfectly fine this macbook specifically has some quirks like the fan maxing out so i have to actually download a software for the fan to bring it down to reasonable levels and the battery being very very weird i really did not know anything about the pre-unibody macbook pros i didn't even know they existed i only found out about them maybe like back in 2020 when i was really getting into collecting these types of macbooks what fascinated me was the fact that these pre-unibody macbooks actually look really really good but you can see the bezels over here just look very thin and in 2024 that is still relatively thin and the display the display looks really good without having the glass on the front to uh, separate the screen in the viewer's eye it looks a lot more crispier and there's really not that much reflection this is not even a 1080p this is a 1440 by 900 so nothing special oh man the keyboard layout is completely different <laughs> now here comes the story of this macbook i got this macbook a couple of months ago this was actually an assorted amount of macbooks i found on facebook marketplace for like 400 bucks there was about like nine macbooks over there in this big box i had to travel about three hours to pennsylvania just to pick it up and honestly that was like one of the best decisions i've ever made at the end what really caught my eye was this specific macbook right here it was the only macbook that looked relatively good what caught me was the fact that this was actually my first time owning this type of macbook the pre-unit body macbook this has the core 2 duo which means that it's a lot more modern than the core duo that originally came with and again that also has a very high success well high failure rate for the graphics cards so it has the base model uh 2.2 gigahertz at the time but it has an upgraded four gigs of ram and it has a 500 gigabyte hard drive although it's not an ssd and it's not the fastest thing in the world 500 gigs that's plenty and i actually split it between el capitan which is the latest version uh this macbook can support and mountain lion which was the last version of the schemorphic design before they switched into the ios 7 like flat theme I really don't have any preferences so but I do like the way the schemorphic before the flat design of Mac OS because it really just matches this computer well let's go ahead and test out a couple of apps on this one as you can see it's pretty snappy even on the hard drive it does take quite a bit to load in some applications but that's to be expected if you open for system preferences here it takes like a second or two to open and then if you close it and open it again it will load a lot faster so there's that. That's to be expected on the hard drive. If you open calendar right here, oh, that was pretty instantaneous. That's good. Uh, what about contacts? Does that load? Yeah. It takes a while to open up because of the hard drive. Once you close it and then open it again, it will load a lot quicker. And speaking of SSD with this computer, oh, look at how horrible that camera is. <laughs> because this is the pre-unibody design, that means that you have so many screws here. I believe you have like four each on each side, another four on the bottom, another two or four by the RAM compartment, which you have to unscrew because this whole keyboard assembly comes up and that's when you can finally access your hard drive. And that's also one of the reasons why I didn't upgrade it to SSD because I do not feel like opening this thing up again. I did replace a the thermal base. I cleaned this thing up for like a good while. Let's go ahead and load Best Buy, see how that looks. Just, you know, curious. You can see it loads pretty decently quick. Let's go ahead and open the actual website. And look at this. It loads the website fast. It's the assets that take a while. So you can see how these are all loading right here the fact that this is running mountain lion already an outdated system from 2013 if i go switch to mac os el capitan it's actually a lot more usable let's go ahead and go to a lighter app or a lighter website called every mac this is basically like a spec sheet for macs and it loads pretty quick you just have to wait a couple of seconds and it will load up quick right there 
Let's see. Let's go to uh, a little bit more intensive websites. I think what makes this really struggle, in my opinion, are the streaming websites where you have to stream video. It would ramp up the fans so high. You can't even watch a video properly because the audio is barely audible. Now you can see how the GPU or the graphics is running pretty hot even right now. And this is not even anything intensive. This is just loading into YouTube. The website of YouTube is just taking forever. There's a, another application called 10.6tube. It is a mobile version of YouTube. It loads much quicker. Now let's go ahead and check the playback right here. Dude, that's 360p. We're gonna go ahead and put it 720p. You can only go up to 720p, which is unfortunate. Gonna go to full screen here. <laughs> We're playing frames by minute at this point. Wow, okay. Let's go ahead and force quit this and restart to El Capitan. And that's a good thing about this computer is that you can really just boot up a much more recent version of Mac OS, unlike the previous two MacBooks I reviewed. All right, now that we have switched to El Capitan, we can try again the YouTube. Oh, YouTube's right there. Should load. <laughs> Now, this is also an outdated version of Google Chrome, so <laughs> we'll see how that loads up. The graphics is running quite hot. You can go ahead and put it at 720p. 720p right there. Looks like 720p loads with ease. How about 1080p? Whoa, 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 I'm getting into this. Oh, this trailer is pretty cool. <laughs> 1080p. Wow, 1080p low is fine. Running 1080p, streaming 1080p on YouTube runs perfectly fine. I am Marvel Jesus. <laughs> I think that's gonna do it for this video. We all know that these computers have a very high failure rate graphics card wise, so I'm not gonna push it too hard. As you can see, it's running 75 degrees on the graphics itself, so that's borderline getting hot. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. More videos to come.